Hello everyone, this is Jack from Dr. Precept. If you ever work on the hybrid battery before, then you should know there's all kind of warning sign on it, right? There's a warning battery side, there's a high voltage warning side, there's a chemical warning side. But is it really that deadly? Is it going to kill you in any way? Or is it just a way to get you away from repairing your battery? I guess we'll find out today. Stay tuned. All right, folks, so uh, before I put myself in danger, let's do some calculations, shall we? Um, so today my life is dependent on this formula, voltage divided by resistance equal to current. So what's the ver voltage looks like for a Prius? Uh, vo the, the Prius usually has around 220 volts, but our lithium battery has around 230 volts VDC, okay? And this is a DC, so uh, direct current. So uh, it's not like the uh, the household VAC. VAC is in the United States, it is 60 hertz. So um, it's easier to penetrate the human skin because the human is acting like a capacitor. And if you have an alternate current, it's going to penetrate that capacitor easier. So that 230 VDC, uh, it's not equivalent to 230 VAC that you have in your household outlet, All right? So, but it's high, so it will still has the potential, the voltage potential to penetrate to your skin, into your body, and conduct into another side of your body. So I would say this is 230. Yeah, check. It's gonna to penetrate your body one way or another. All right, and let's talk about resistance. Um, so I'm, I live in Southern California, it's pretty dry over here. So we're going to do some measurement on the human body in dry condition and human body in wet condition right now. So I have a trusted fluke uh, voltmeter over here. Uh, I measure it at the, uh, the, uh, the ohm right now. So let's say, let's say, okay, let's do the easy one first. Uh, let's say if I touch the uh, positive and negative with my finger. Okay, and right now it's dry, it's morning time, I, I wasn't sweating anything. Let's take a look at the uh, resistance. Okay, so it's about 2 point, that is settled down a little bit. I would say 2.3 mega ohm, okay? Let's say 2.4, okay? 2.4 mega ohm. How about when during the condition where it is wet? So let me get some salt on my finger and let's try it again. All right, so you can see my finger is totally wet. This is the repair shot condition, okay? So people are always sweating and all that. So let's see how the wet condition affect the uh, resistance. See, it dramatically dropped in half. So right now we are looking at 1.2, 1, or even lower than that, okay? I'll say, 180, okay, 180K ohm. Okay. All right, and then let's simulate the, the situation where you have a hot dog touching the positive and negative. And on the surface, let's take a look. It has 190, okay. So pretty similar to the repair shot wet condition. And now let's try to simulate the worst case scenario where the positive and negative actually penetrate into your skin. Look at that. So now you're looking at, settle it down, settle it down. Let's just use 55, okay? 55K ohm. All right? So that's the number that we have right now. Let's plug it in into this formula and see what's the amperage we're getting. All right, we've done the calculation here. So as you can see, all the number are at milliamp level so it looks safe right uh, however this is from calculation and you don't never trust the calculation until really try it so let's just uh, 
find some resistance matching with that resistor here and find out if that really the result that we are getting. So we have our resistor pick out over here, 2.4 exactly, and 180K, 56K. Uh, so it represents three different, four different conditions. Uh, so this is our lithium battery over here. Uh, I have the Polon charger hooked up right now. Let me took it off. This is for another video that's coming up soon. I haven't put on the um, uh, service plug yet, however, still very dangerous, so uh, let's try to wire this thing. And it goes here. The first thing we're going to test is 2.4 mega ohm, so let's plug in. And this is this is a metal bar. I know it's coated. It should be safe, but I still want to tape it. I don't want anything short on this metal bar. Okay. Now let's connect it negative and another side positive. All right. And let's put in the service plug. Now the circuit is complete. Let's do some measurement. Carefully, of course. I hope you see that. No. No. So the total power, let's take a look. 230 volts. And yeah, I don't see any smoke, nothing coming out because according to that, you should have probably 0.1 milliamp. So let's take a look with this amp meter and zero out. Here we go. It's so low that it doesn't even register. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference. So I guess there's a minimum current going through this. And this is simulate the human body dry condition. So let's talk about human body wet condition, the repair shot condition. All right, let's pull out the service plug. Okay, let's out. Where's 180K? And service plug, plug it back in, connect, try the voltage, 230 volt, and my amp meter, zero out again, still nothing, yeah 1.2 A median, that's still too small, yeah it's not even registered at all. Okay, so that's the repair shot wet condition. According to the equipment, there is nothing that can measure. Well, there's a tiny little mini mini amp going through the to going through the circuit. Um, how about let's do a worst case scenario with the with the uh, positive and negative penetrate through your skin. Let's see how that's gonna affect. This is the 55k ohm. 
the worst case scenario. Okay, service plot back in, no smoke, nothing, 4.18 milliamps. That's the target, so zero out. Yep, it's still too small to register anything. Okay, yeah, it's that milliamp level, so what can you expect? So I guess this, <laughs> the calculation is correct. There's nothing to worry about. And now the only thing left is, should I touch it with my bare hand and see what's up? Let's find out next. Okay, are you guys ready? Service plug. Do the revolt. Pass the native. I connect to uh, my voltmeter directly. So that's voltage. I'm very nervous right now. So there's a little bit of sweat. I can feel it on my, on my fingertip. I'm going to, to attach you with my two fingers. So if ever there's a problem, this two finger is what I'm going to lose. I don't want it to penetrate my heart, right? <laughs> For the experiment. Not worth it. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Ooh, yeah, I can feel it tinkling. 230 volt. Woo! Yeah. It hurts. But I don't think it's gonna kill you because I'm still here. My finger is still moving. There's a tingling going through here all the way to here. Be very careful. Maybe you have a heart condition, right? So if you're going through your left hand to right hand, going through your heart, the jolt might be able to stop your heart. Yeah, let me just try it one more time. Ooh, yeah, it hurts. Okay, so let me try to describe the tinkling. Uh, I can feel the jolt going through my finger one way, one to another. Um, but it's not as bad as the um, when I touch in the 240 volt on the wallet in North America. Um, so I'm pretty sure because the VAC and VDC, the VAC is going to vibrate and penetrate this capacitor all the way through easily. So you can feel that every single shot, every single hook of that the vibration. Uh, but in this case, VDC is harder to penetrate. As you can see, sometimes I touch it, it doesn't really matter. I, I don't feel anything. But when I put my finger on top of it like half second, then it penetrates through and then I can feel it. I can feel the numbness or the tinkling. So that's how it feels like. I believe what happened is that the resistor we are measuring here is the resistor before the electricity can penetrate through the skin to the body. Once the electricity penetrates through the skin, the resistor should be much higher than that. That's why I feel the big jolt of shock. And uh, I haven't yet figured out how to calculate that real number. And of course, it took me three hours to shoot this video, so I'm hungry right now. Let's uh, see if we can have some hot dog for food. All right, so penetrate, worst case scenario. All right, and service plug. Let's see what happened. Whoa, I can hear it. Woo. Can you hear it? Let me put my microphone on. Listen to this. I can smell it too. Whoa. Woo. Woo. I got some hot dog. Garage smell like hot dog now. Man, it's hot. Don't you ever <laughs> stick the positive and negative into your body, otherwise, you will be fried. Well, what we learned today is that be careful when you work on the happy battery, okay? That means 
always unplug the service plug. Not gonna separate the voltage in half. Actually, it's gonna cut the current, so there's nothing that can pass through your body. As you can see, zero volt, and I can touch it without any problem right now. Zero volt, nothing. Okay, folks, I, I hope you like the content. Uh, if you like the, um, my channel, please subscribe, consider subscribe. And I guess I will see you at the next one. Mmm. Good. According to the calculation, this has four times the current that went through this hot dog. Four times the current that went through my finger going through this hot dog. And if I can feel the tinkling, that must be a big tinkling.